Hello and welcome to another Enzo VN Gaming video. This time we'll be taking down Caesar Clown, which is the new raid on Global. Now Caesar Clown isn't amazing, especially like he's probably come out too late to be really good, but like, you know, if you came out like two years ago he'd be amazing, but still pretty decent. His captain ability boosts the attack of cerebral and driven characters by 2.5 times. Pretty nice, but obviously like in today's meta 2.5 doesn't really cut it anymore, but it's not the worst thing in the world. The special deals 45 times his attack, which is fine, whatever, but also amplifies the effect of orbs for driven and cerebral characters by 1.75 times for 2 turns, and then poisons all enemies. So this is pretty decent, obviously we're about to hit the cerebral mail on global. 1.75 times isn't amazing, especially because Law uh, 6 plus has 2.25 times orb boost, but the, obviously the thing that is nice that it lasts 2 turns, which can be very important. But the poison can be very nice if the opponent has uh, resilience. So you can just burst and then the poison will go through that resilience buff and you don't have to worry about it. So it's kind of niche, it has its purpose, but you're not going to be using him all the time. But thankfully he's a 40 stamina raid so he's not too hard to max out. So you have the opportunity, there's no reason not to, especially because today on Global it is also times to skill up. So if you want to max him out quickly, you can do it now and then just kind of forget about him until you need him, which is always nice. Now let's quickly look at the team I'm going to be using to beat it. So this is the team I'm going to be using, it's going to be um, using a Momonga lead since he's a 2.5 times Cerebral Captain and he's super easy to get, you can literally get him anytime you want on Global since he's a permanent raid. Not only that, he boosts Cerebrals by 1.75 times uh, attack boost with his special. So he's a really nice unit, plus he's Psy against the in boss so you know the deal. Tebow is there just for the attack because he's a Psy unit so you can replace him with literally anyone you want. Nami is actually very important since she will remove silence. Uh, on the final stage, Caesar Clan will silence everyone for 3 turns. And since she re um, has the Sailor ability, making her immune to silence, she can remove silence for everyone else afterwards. So that's really good. Kuma is also really nice because on stage 4, they will lock your orbs into bomb orbs. Uh, so you can just instantly get 4 matching orbs and clear out stage 4. And Tessaro again is there for uh, the fact that he's a Psy Cerebral character. Plus getting Psy Orbs is never too bad and the AoE damage isn't too uh, bad either. I'm also going to be using uh, Law Friend Captain, the 6 plus version, which you should have a decent amount of friends for since everyone got a lot of them during the 3rd anniversary for Global. And if not, you can just bring another uh, Orb Booster on your team and then use a better like Cerebral Captain and it should still be fine or just use a better team than this. Uh, <laughs> this team isn't great but I'm just going to try and be like free to play friendly as possible. So with all that said, let's get started. So on stage 1, you're just going to want to stall out your specials. You actually don't want to let anyone go down to, I believe, 2 CD, because then they will blow away a character for 3 turns, which is obviously really annoying. It's not the end of the world if it happens, but like obviously it's going to be a lot more annoying to face off against the next stages, which is why I kill this guy now, rather than letting him go down to 1 CD. But luckily no one has a lot of HP, this is only 40 stamina raid, so it's not too bad. Obviously the RCV down is really annoying, but like, you shouldn't take too many hits, plus Law heals you a lot from his captain ability anyway. Here, I'm gonna <laughs> mess up and for some reason like, target this guy first, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. You wanna either kill the penguins or the everyone, because um, obviously the penguin is boosted, but he actually doesn't hit as hard as those um, punk hazard guys. So, don't do what I do, and for some reason just kill the guy on 3 CD, like a madman. Here, I I should have obviously killed the two punk hazard guys, but I don't know, I just focused at the penguin first for some reason. I guess because I, I, I didn't check until afterwards how much damage he does when he's boosted and it's only 6,000 while well, these guys do 7,000. So yeah, uh, kill kill those guys first. And then uh, if you really need to, you can still on the penguin and the lobster, but uh, my CDs are really low anyway, so I just kill them as fast as possible and then still on the just regular CDs rather than taking hits from the evolvers. So you see here I'm healing in about, you know, like a thousand from the captain ability if I'm hitting a lot of perfects, which is decent enough. Uh, looking at my captain of, uh, my specials sorry, they're, they're low enough that I don't really need to store that much. Here, as normal, you want to kill the elder seahorse before he gets to lock anyone for a long time. And then just kill these guys as they go off CD. Nothing too complicated. This read actually is, I think it's a little bit hard for a 40 stand, but it still isn't too difficult anyway for most people. Yeah, I'm just one extra turn, I think, just for Kuma to be up for the next stage. And then now, it doesn't really matter what orbs you have, I'm gonna orb manipulate with Kuma next stage anyway, so it's fine. 
Now to stage 4, you'll run on into 3 centaurs and a dragon, which sounds really weird for one piece treasure cruise. They're gonna lock your orbs to bomb for one turn, as well as the dragon uh, putting up a deep protector and attack and defense only on himself though. So the only thing scary here is if you drop the dragon below 30%, he will blow away a character forever. So just make sure you don't do that. Here I'm gonna just uh, focus the dragon because I don't want to have to deal with that when I don't have the orb boost. Plus the centaurs, the only thing they do is they blind you for two turns each, which really isn't going to be a big deal considering I'm just going to kill Caesar Clown in one turn. So just take the blind or, you know, if you can do enough damage to kill them all in one turn anyway. This team isn't obviously great, I'm just showing off like a free to play team. Uh, except for Nami, but you know, what can you do? Now onto the final stage, Caesar Clown only has about 1.78 million HP. So you shouldn't have too much problem killing him, the only thing obviously is that he has a 10 hit barrier. So I just use Nami to get rid of the silence on everyone, then use Law to clear him out as well as giving you the 2.25 or boost. Uh, and then pretty much just burst. I got a decent amount of orbs here but like you can just use Tesoro to get the Psy orbs on the guys obviously that are Psy and should have enough damage to kill him anyway. You can see here uh, T-Bone doesn't even attack. And that's it, Caesar Clown is done. He's not too bad, especially if you use a team that isn't like super garbage like this team. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, that's it for this video. Post any other teams you have in the comments down below. If you're generous, you can donate to the PayPal. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, my Nakama.